Good morning, SJB. I'm Noah, and you're watching SJB TV. Thanks for joining us today, Braves. Here's the latest on what's happening around your school today. Braves, please remember that immediately after the program today, we will, we will be having our 11th grade student council speeches here on SJB TV. So don't touch that dial at the end of the show. Graduate dance tickets are now on sale. Tickets are $50 each. Your tickets can either be purchased online or in the main office from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're purchasing online, you must go to the main office for two reasons. One, to select your table, and two, to purchase a grad guest ticket, if your guest has been approved. There will be 10 people per table. Be sure to purchase your tickets as soon as you can. The last day to purchase will be Friday, May 29th. This week's SJB's 11th grade entrepreneur class is holding a basket raffle in the cafeteria. Tickets will be sold each day at the beginning of all lunches with all proceeds going to the victims of the Nepal earthquakes. Check out the awesome baskets which include items from Splitsville and movie passes to spa packages and nail salons and even a $100 Best Buy gift card. Tickets are $2 each or 3 for 5 See you in the calf, Braves. Attention all Anime Club members. This Thursday, we will be taking our yearbook photo immediately after school in the art room. Be there and be remembered forever. Thanks. Thank you for Miss Ruse. All students attending the construction day trip with Mr. Alfieri and Mr. Aramo are to meet this morning at the front foyer as soon as possible. Hey anglers, all members of the fishing club, there will be a quick meeting in room T161 at the end of first period. Thanks for Mr. Taylor. Attention all yearbook members, there will be an important meeting today in room 222 after school. If you cannot attend, please let one of your editors or teacher advisors know. I remind the applications for the African Caribbean Papori Association are due next Monday, June 1st. Please see Ms. Fazari for in guidance if you have any questions. And a reminder to any graduates that have not paid their grad fees, the last day to pay fees is Monday, June 1st. If you have not paid and still wish to pay, please see Ms. Fazari in guidance. And now over to me with sports. Thanks, me. Attention all students who signed up to attend the Coburg Beach Volleyball Tournament this Thursday. We will have a short 15 minutes meeting after school this Wednesday in the gym for all those who signed up. If you cannot attend, please, Mr. See, please see Mr. Hargoff sometime Tuesday for information about the tournament. Also, if teams would like to practice on Wednesday, please let Mr. Hargoff know before Wednesday. Also, members of the Midget Girls Volleyball team who have not returned to Washington uniform must do so ASAP. They are long overdue, and if they're not returned, but by Friday, you will have an outstanding account which may compromise the writing of your final exams in June. The Junior Girls soccer team suffered a heartbreaking loss against the undefeated Cardinal Newman squad yesterday in a semifinal action. The girls played a hard tell, but with 20 seconds left in the game, the number one ranked Newman squad was able to sneak in a goal. Ladies, your efforts yesterday were incredible. You certainly didn't deserve to lose like that. Miss Merritt is proud of every single one of you. See you today, see you today at the end of the day in the gym. Please bring your jerseys and shorts and money for socks and jackets. For SCG TV Sports, I'm Noah. What PSA are you playing? say that it would be uh, anything that's non-fiction. Documentaries. Uh, Dardanelles into mm. Nancy slash sci-fi. I like all movies, but uh, as I thought about the question, I think we're looking at fantasy sci-fi, like stuff like Star Wars, uh, Lord of the Rings. Horror because I like gore blood. I like musicals. I like horror movies because it's fun seeing guys like being broken. Especially for dogs, the guy's ear gets cut off. That's pretty awesome. My favorite movie is The Lorax. I actually love it. 
My favorite movie genre is comedy. Horror. Comedy. Comedy horror. My favorite movie genre is horror. Yeah, horror movie. I think I, I, I guess I sort of enjoy an escape when I watch a movie. That's all, your, that's all your news for today. Remember, Braves, a ship in harbor is safe, but that's not why ships are built. Don't be afraid to sail. Stay tuned now for the 11 great student council speeches. Have a great day, Braves. So good morning, Braves. Today's student council election day. All of our positions have currently been appointed except for our grade 11 representative position. What does this mean? Well, that means that only grade 10 today will be voting for their grade 11 representative of next year during period 4 today in the cafeteria, since you're all on that same lunch. Please bring your student ID in the voting process just to validate that you are in grade 10 and going into grade 11 next year. And with that said, I'd like to invite up our first candidate doing a short little speech for us here, Christina Espazzo. Good morning, fellow students, teachers, advisors, friends, and future voters. My name is Christina Esposto, and I am running for your grade 11 student council representative. Some of you may have seen my posters around the school with the slogan, the girl with the smile will go the extra mile. I am really looking forward to becoming more connected with the school community and investing a lot of my time in helping it grow. From being on the athletic council for two consecutive years, to being a prefect, to tutoring fellow classmates and younger neighbors, I am constantly taking on leadership roles. I love to help others and I am well prepared to become a more committed member of this school. I would gladly accept all of your ideas and pass along your messages to the other members of the student council as well as to the teacher advisors. As I am running for next year's grade 11 student council rep, I will take special care of my fellow grade 11s and make sure everyone's voices are heard. The student council works together with the student body, so when you have any problems or great ideas on how to make our school better, please let me know so I can share your ideas. All suggestions are welcome and will be carefully considered. Today, I am asking for your vote. Should you elect me as your grade 11 student council representative for the 2015-2016 school year, I can assure you all that your next year here at St. Jean de Brebeuf Catholic Secondary School will be memorable and truly amazing. I promise to listen openly to all of your concerns and ideas and work hard to make them happen. And remember, the slogans on my posters say, I may be small, but I've got it all. I'll fight without rest, put me to the test. And the girl with a smile will go the extra mile. Please vote Christina Esposo for grade 11 rep. Thank you, Christina. I'd now like to invite up Christina Arpino for our next speech. Okay, so is my good side, okay. Good morning, St. John's Every Buff. As a fellow Brave, I would like to thank you all for listening on my speech today. Most of you probably know me. My name is Christina Arpino, or that girl that makes really bad jokes and never really shuts up. It probably doesn't surprise you that I'm ready to be a grade 11 rep. To those of you who already know me, you would know that I'm a very outgoing, loud, and courageous girl. If by chance you vote me for your grade 11 representative, I hope to make SJB a positive environment for everyone. I want to get to know you just as you'll get to know me. I want everyone's opinions, concerns, and questions to be taken into consideration and to be dealt with as soon as possible. If I were chosen, I'd want to help all of you in any way I possibly can. Come to me with your problems, get something off your chest. Just know that you belong here and you're irreplaceable. You are loved, and even if it doesn't feel like you are, know that I care for you. Today, please come down to the cafeteria and to the far back underneath the TV, there will be a table set up. There you will get a scantron and that's where you will shade in your selection. Christina Arpino for your grade 11 rep. For all students, teachers, and staff, I wish for all of you to feel like you're stepping into your home when you walk into our doors because we are all a family here. You mean something to me because as Leo and Stitch said, Ohana means family and family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. Love you, St. John the Buff. Vote Arpino and have a beautiful day.
Thank you very much, Christina Arpino. So now I'd like to invite up Cody Sims for our last speech of these announcements. Good morning, St. John's Upper Buff. My name is Cody Sims, and I'm running for grade 11 rep. I would make the best things possible and try to make your dreams at Upper Buff come true. I would make anything come true because I'm good at almost anything, and I know a lot. That's the reason why I'm running for grade 11 rep, because I want to support you guys. I'm trying to get know all the students at Brabuff. If you need anything, just ask me. I know how to get around, or, or if you're new to Brabuff, I will always give you a warm Brabuff welcome. I'm good at helping everybody in the school, so remember, vote for Cody for grade 11 rep. I will make a difference for your school. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, that was Cody Sims. So grade 10s, remember to come out and vote during period 4 in the lunch during, uh, during fourth period today. Bring your student ID, and uh, every vote counts, so just try and get out there and at least choose somebody. Uh, that's all we've got for you today, so thank you very much.